everything we're about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. All right, all right, here we go, man. Look, bro, y'all really need to pay more attention to the enemies within. For some reason, y'all like this dude, Anton. Y'all made him a low-end millionaire. And this dude is slowly brainwashing y'all into conservatism. And he's using freaks like Dwayne Wade and silly-ass Gabriel Union. He's using people like them to help bend your mind a certain way. Don't let him do it, y'all. Look, man, I am not on here trying to defend liberals or Democrats. I don't even vote. You see, that's one of the things, you know, dudes always try to put me in one of these boxes like, oh, man, if I say certain things, oh, man, you just a conservative. I don't vote. Then if I say something else, oh, man, somebody else tell me, oh, man, you just a liberal. I don't vote. How about the fact that I can just sit back and listen and decide for myself what sounds correct and true or which what has more merit and so forth you know what i'm saying i don't i don't need to i don't need to be in a political box to think for myself you know what i'm saying but one of the things i, I noticed is that and and this has been going on for a while in, in fact obama exposed this you know they always talk about obama i'm gonna I'm try to slow my brain down so i can get this out you know i i i, I hope i can get this out in a way where, where it's where it's coherent so just just bear with me when obama announced his candidacy I remember, I remember watching the news and these pro-black groups just, I mean, went crazy, went ape shit crazy, protesting and what you gonna do for us and all this shit kind of like, the dude hasn't even <laughs> been elected yet, you know what I'm saying, y'all already giving him hell, you know what I'm saying, I mean, and, and back then, I didn't really understand what I was looking at because it was kind of odd, you know, he was the first black man, so it was kind of odd to see this from the the pro-blacks, you would think that the pro-blacks would have been happy that, that he was in there, you know. Yeah, the more liberal ones are, you know what I'm saying? The females, the pro-black females were, you know, the more liberal-minded. But them, but the pro-black men, they hated Obama from jump. From jump. Before he even did anything, they hated him. And throughout his candidacy, throughout th throughout his tenure as president, the pro-black community over-scrutinized, over-analyzed everything he did. I mean, he ain't do shit right in their eyes. There was nothing he did right. There was nothing he said right. I mean, it was crazy. But the reverse to it is, for some reason, Sarah Palin and McCain was cool to him. For some reason, you know, uh, 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 what, what's his name? Uh, Mitt Romney was cool to him. And then Trump got in office. They, you know, Trump was cool. Trump was Anton talked like Trump was the best president we ever had. And you know, let me let me let me get these freaks off my back um while I do my intro. I don't need to be looking at this stuff here while I do my intro. You know what I'm saying? In fact, let me let me, let me go hard. Let me let me let me, let me, let me let me let me put the big man up there. There we go. Sadullah, the name. So you know, um, but these dudes. Was, was on Obama's ass from the jump, and it seemed like they always had something kind to say about Trump or the Republicans. Minister Farrakhan did the exact same thing. Exact same. I'm telling you, but it's like a conspiracy, bro. I mean, the exact same thing. He went on Alex Jones' show, which is, I mean, an extremely racist demographic. And he dumped all over Obama before Obama had a chance to, I mean, well... Obama's already in office, but then he talked, oh, no, Hillary, excuse me, I said that wrong. He dumped all over Hillary. And right after he finished dumping all over Hillary, he basically praised and co-signed Trump. So much so that they was running commercials online on social media, um, Sean Farrakhan, Farrakhan saying the words that he was saying. I mean, just clips of Farrakhan talking about Hillary and talking about Trump. I mean... He basically gave Trump an endorsement. And I just thought that was strange, you know what I'm saying? Again, I'm I'm, I'm no lover of democratic policies, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, that's that's not, I, I don't vote. You know what I'm saying? But, but, as a black man, I just cannot vote for the Republicans. I, I don't see how y'all can do it, bro. 
Now, prior to Obama running in office, I can see you voting for Republican because back then it was still pretty much under the table. You know, we didn't have the Tea Party came out. The, the, the recruitment of the neo-Nazi organization type organizations wasn't high. You know, since Obama got in office, I mean, everything just kind of came to the surface, you know. He, he was the thing that happened that exposed everything. He exposed how a lot of blacks actually felt on the inside. He exposed how a lot of whites, which we already knew, but they came to the surface with it. So it's clear now that the Republican Party is the social political party of the racist. I mean, it's always been clear to me, but now it should be clear to you. So while you've got so many so-called pro-blacks that basically repeat all manner of Republican talking points, there's a brother with a, with a black boxing channel, right, on YouTube. I mean, he's always dropping conservative talking points to the point where it gets, it gets uncomfortable to listen to. Nigga, this supposed to be a boxing channel. The fuck are you talking about all this other shit for, man? Stick to boxing, bro. Nobody give a damn about your politics, man. That, that, that's, that should be personal. But for some reason, these conservative coons are proud to be what they are. Now, why am I saying all this? Now I got to pull the freaks back up. Because recently, recently, um, Anton, he did a little video where he played the clip of Dr. Umar Johnson talking about uh, all the different awards and stuff we had. But Anton's video was titled, Black People Don't Deserve Awards for Trash. And, you know, I wonder why would he even word it that way? Because we don't get awards for nothing. I mean, 99% of our inventions get reattributed and, 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 and given credit to somebody else. They don't want to give us anything. God damn it, they don't want to give us Egypt no more. Now it's a big old debate over who the Egyptians were. They trying, they trying to say that they are genetically tied to anybody and everybody but black people. I mean, even though here in, the, in America, you know, you had this TV show on, the, the Mayans had all these little Mexican looking motherfuckers on motorcycles. Them bitches are not the Mayans, bro. I seen that exhibit with my own eyes. Those were black people, bro. Them shits in their heads look like feathers that y'all think is feathers. That's their dreadlocks. They tied their dreads and they stuck straight up. That's black people, bro. But they don't want to give us nothing. So when you get a nigga like him talking about we don't deserve awards for, for trash. Fuck, we don't get awards for nothing, man. What you talking about? So what they do, what these conservative coons, conservative cons do, they find something that they know sickens all of us. And they point to it. Or they find something else that they know we don't fully understand and they skew it. But this situation with Dwayne Wade and Gabriel Union is not something that's misconstrued. It is what it is. You know, it's, it's a travesty that they let a, a young boy at the age of something like, what, 10, 11 years old have a sex change? I mean, this is this is insanity abound, man. I mean, I don't know what kind of world we live in where, where this is even considered, you know, good parenting. So you can't spank your child, but you can cut his dick off. I mean, this is just crazy, bro. This, this, it's, it's crazy, you know what I'm saying? They don't want you to put your hand on your own child. They don't want you to grab your child, but you could take him to the doctor and let him cut him up. Let him cut his dick off. I mean, man, this is madness, bro. So he know that's something that we all gonna agree with. But then they start trying to blame the whole gay thing on Obama. As if this gay thing ain't been brewing up for a very long time. Y'all gotta remember, we are in the third wave of feminism. And the third wave actually started around the 80s or 90s. Obama wasn't even in office when all this stuff started. But somehow he becomes the main focus. I'm making a point here because, you know, what I'm trying to show you is that how they do things, they blame it on a black man because that's, for some reason, we are fucked up in the head and blaming it on black people seems to appeal to us for some strange reason. I mean, I understand how it works with white folks. I get that. I mean, I, I, I understand how racism motivates them, but I don't understand how intra-racism motivate us. I don't get that, bro. What is the problem that we have with ourselves, man? What is this issue we have with ourselves? Anything negative we say about each other, man, we, oh, yeah, 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 you speaking the truth. Something is wrong with you people, bro. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, they try to blame all this gay stuff on Obama as if this stuff ain't been going on for a long time. 
like I said, we're in the third wave. This stuff originated, the, 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 the true feminist movement started around the, what, 50s? First wave lasted 50s to about late 60s. Second wave kicked in about late 60s to like early 70s. No, late 60s to like early 80s, I mean. Maybe maybe mid 80s. And then the third wave kicked in. When the third wave kicked in, that's when all the crazy stuff started. But it wasn't Obama in office when that stuff started. They've been chipping away at society for a long time. Got nothing to do with President Obama. You know what I'm saying? It didn't matter who was in office at the time. Certain things was about to break. Because they had been moving society in a certain direction for a long time. <clears throat> Excuse me. But my point is, blaming Obama makes y'all happy. You know what I'm saying? It's Obama's fault. So now it becomes acceptable. And so the, 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 under, the undertone is... Democrats are just all bad. Republicans are all good. Then Anton, his house nigga ass, he talking about Trump trying to invest in the black communities and stuff. Okay, so why the black communities are still fucked up? Oh, that's why you're going to blame it on black women, huh, Anton? That's what you're going to do, huh? It's black women fault, bro. I don't know why y'all fuck with this dude, bro. Y'all got problems, man. Y'all got problems, bro. I don't know why y'all fuck with people. I don't know why y'all fuck with none of these people, bro. All these people do is lie to y'all, man, misconstrue and twist everything, you know what I'm saying? And this dude used the sickness of this family to try to see how black people don't deserve awards for trade. Now, granted, Dr. Umo Johnson wasn't even talking about them. I heard the clip. He wasn't even talking about them. Anton used them on the thumbnail so and, and he said black people don't deserve awards. And I wonder, why did he say black people? Nobody would deserve awards for trash, right? He should have said people don't deserve awards for trash. Why is black people? See, they don't worry about white folks. This nigga Taz with his B1 shit. He don't worry about with all the ills that white people do. You know what I'm saying? He skip all that. Every now and then he might give an article on white people. But all he do is dig up dirt on black people. All these people, man, just always looking for something negative about us. They, they, they troll the social media sites, man. TikTok and all this stuff. Looking for any old silly ass black woman to say some shit. Oh, any old thugged out ass pookie type dude to say some dumb shit and they blast it all over and then accuse all of us of being like that and then underneath that is a tone that you really should not be messing with democrats see they never really come well anti basically co-sign republican and that really should be enough for y'all to start fucking with him right there y'all black people can't be that stupid to think that republicans are your friend i get it you don't like that you don't like the LGBT A B C D agenda on the other side. I get that. But you can't be that stupid to think Republicans are your friend. And if you do a little research, you would see that every time Republicans in power, it just gets worse and worse. In fact, part of the problem with America is that we don't have a left-wing party anymore. Because contrary to what people believe, feminism is actually a right-wing ideology. Yes, people. It's a right wing idea. It is not liberal at all. The, the whole the whole LGBT ABCD agenda, that is right wing. It is not liberal in any sense of the word. It's, it is not liberal in, in, by any definition of the word. These are all strongly conservative ideologies fighting with each, each other. So what we really have is two conservative parties. A minor conservative and a lesser conservative. And that's part of the problem. That's part of the problem. We don't have any opposition anymore. It's gone. It's gone. And it's, and it's, it's been fading away for a long time. And I'm not trying to blame nobody in particular. But I mean, but y'all been voting for conservative policies. Y'all must have forgot what Bill Clinton did when he was in office. This man took office. They had like, like 12, 13 federal prisons. By the time he got out of office, they had like 180 of them. He reduced the deficit and, and created a, 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 a surplus by locking up black people. Three strike laws, you know, um, mandatory sentences. That's what he did. He created an economy off of our misery. And y'all still praise this white boy. But you ain't going to get them to, you know, well, you might get these niggas to say something about Clinton, but they ain't going to say nothing about all the Republican, you know, shenanigans that go on, bro. Come on, man. See, I'm going to tell y'all something y'all don't know. Circa 1995, 1996. 
I think Trent Lott was a senator. I think he was like um, the head of the Senate at the time. And they was debating on whether or not to change the, the drug laws, the federal drug laws, dealing with crack cocaine and powder cocaine. And Trent Lott got on TV and said, it might be racist, it might be wrong, but we're not going to change it. That's what he said. And right there, the federal prisons went up in flames. They had riots in the federal prisons from coast to coast. Y'all never heard about it because the news didn't report it. They had to send in national guards in every state to get the, to get, to get the prisons under control. Again, y'all never heard of it because the, they, they never mentioned that. But that was the that, that was the Republican said that. That it might be racist, it might be wrong, but we ain't changing it. So, you know, you're dealing with people that are openly hateful towards you. And I, I, mean, I don't know what kind of talking points y'all are allowing these dudes to spin and, 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 and hit y'all with, man. But they can't just point out some ills on one side and, and make it sound like the other side is all Gucci. You know, it's like the other side is good. It don't work that way. But this is what y'all allowing these people to do. They are slowly mind melding y'all, bro. Don't let them do y'all that. Don't let them do y'all that, bro. We shouldn't be voting at all, to be honest. And if you're just going to vote, you know, unfortunately, I, I can't even say which one's the lesser evil no more. It's gotten that bad. I mean, it's gotten that bad, man. Right now, we got the Democrats acting like Republicans. Don't y'all see? When have the Democrats been this war hungry? When have the Democrats been this hawkish? Want to start fights with everybody, bombing up shit and stuff. This has never been their position, bro. Don't y'all see that we have two conservative parties? Biden was never a true Democrat. I mean, I don't know what y'all talking. You know, I don't know what's wrong with y'all. Do y'all really keep up with this shit? Or y'all let other people interpret what's going on for you? Because Obama chose Biden because he was cool with the other side. That's why he chose him. He chose him because he was nothing but a Republican hanging with the Democrats. That's why he chose him. But since y'all don't know politics, I mean, I, I guess y'all don't know what the hell y'all doing. So now y'all got basically, we got two conservative parties in America. And you got coons like this nigga here trying to slick side mind fuck y'all into voting for Republicans. Don't, don't do that, bro. Don't do that. The best thing black men, especially black men, the best thing we can do is withhold our votes. Don't vote at all. Don't vote at all. Our sister's not going to join us in that, man, because they tied to the Democratic Party. And that should be a problem with you because they don't vote for the Democrats for the right reason. They're not getting nothing out of it. They are supporting the LGBT, ABCD agenda. They're not getting anything out of it. They're, they're, they're supporting white women's feminist agenda. And they are supporting tough on crime laws against black people. Because, you know, when it's the white people like the meth crisis or, or, or the, the opioids crisis, they need help. They, they need help. They need to go to the hospital. When it was us with the crack thing, lock everybody up. I can't tell how many crackheads they, had, they had locked up in jail, man. Dudes ain't broke a law in their life, man. Outside of stealing some petty shit. You know what I'm saying? Get caught with a rock in their pocket, man. They give them five years. This is what they was doing. This is really why we don't have a lot of crack smokers right now. It worked too well. They, they locked up so many of us that, that shit. They, they, basically killed the, they, they basically killed the market. But the point is, though, we got to be careful with letting dudes like this use people like, 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 like the Wayne Wade and Gabriel Union to trick y'all. They using little talking points dealing with, like, you know, the politics that go on behind the scene, like they really know what's going on. See, Obama is just an executive officer. And I'm going to give you a prime example of what I'm talking about. A couple of years ago, this is while Obama was still in office. This is before Cynthia G came straight in. This is before y'all realized Cynthia G was a, was a, a self-hating, man-hating bitch, right? This is before y'all realized that. This is before she hooked up the dude, Robert Perkins, right? Robert Perkins got on this show one day, and they were talking about what happened with this this whole thing dealing with like the um the bathroom issues right they they wanted to have like uh trans bathrooms or, or, or something like that in, in in um elementary schools and the school districts didn't know what to do so they reached out to the white house obama himself never got involved in it somebody from like the department of health or something it was two two women 
from two of his departments that got together and drafted up an advisory letter and sent it out nationwide to the schools. It was advisory. It was not mandatory. Advisory. Right? Obama himself actually got on. He was on TV one night and they asked him about it. And he explained how the whole thing unfolded. I want this is important. Hear me out on this. And when when Robert Perkins told the story, he told it as if Obama had mandated that they do some kind of trans bathroom thing or whatever, right? And I was like, no, 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 you got that wrong. See, I'm still thinking this dude is just a good brother, right? That just got it wrong. So I, I explained in the comment section. I'm like, I'm looking at the comments. They going off in the comment section. Oh, yeah, Obama. Fuck Obama. You know, I mean, they going off. So I'm like, hold on, hold on. Y'all got that wrong. Obama actually didn't even do nothing with that. And it was just an advisory letter written by two ladies in his administration. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't even nothing mandatory. And Obama himself actually had nothing to do with it. So after I put that comment in there, now Robert is actually responding to people. He's interacting with the chat. He ignores me. I put it right under him and he ignores it. But he's still responding to other people. So I reposted it again one more time and it got ignored again so i leave i come back about 20, 20 minutes later i check to see who you know did they get it right nobody in the comment section responded to what i said they all just ignored it like they don't even see it so i started trolling i started copying and pasting it over and over again in different threads all the way down i leave i come back to see now somebody had to see it and say something everybody ignored it so this told me right there that this is not about truth. This is just about hating Obama. And I got a problem with that, bro. I ain't co-signing that dude. I don't know that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? But God damn, but what's up with this self-hate? Because that's all y'all exhibit, man, under the guise of pro-blackness. Every pro-black dude I've seen so far since I've been coming on YouTube is underneath there, the self-hater. All of them are conservative coons. All of them want to be white. All of them want to be accepted by white people. I mean, but see, they come to y'all because they can't go to whites. So they make money off you by preaching white ideology to you. Come on, man. Y'all better wake up, bro. Y'all better wake up, man. Y'all better wake up and see what these people are doing. Y'all better wake up and see what they're doing. And, and, and they're fooling y'all, bro. They're misleading y'all. Again, I'm not trying to co-sign Democrats because really we don't have a left-wing party no more. We got two conservative parties. I mean, they got a they got one of these little liberal websites online that that's all socialist. It's a socialist YouTube channel, actually. Um, excuse me. Um, socialist YouTube channel, and um, they actually talk about they explain the ratchet theory how every election cycle we click more to the right, you know what I'm saying, and then get jammed. You know, the Republicans get in, it goes more right. Democrats get in to stop. But this time with Biden, it's been going right, right, right. I mean, Biden said it's not about your liberties, your, your, your individual freedoms of this whole Kojo thing, that you don't have individual rights no more. I mean, behind something that you had a 99% chance of naturally surviving without no help. I, I mean, and, and then you talk to these people like, when did something that you have a 99% chance of, of not even being harmed by, when did that become a, a, a crisis? When did that become a threat? What is wrong with us? What is wrong with us, bro? But the truth of the matter is the Republicans didn't try to stop none of it. They just would have did things differently. They probably wouldn't have mandated anything, but they didn't, they didn't stop any of it. I mean, they sat back and played the, pol the, the politics game, but at the same time, they didn't. They didn't try to stop none of them. So anyway, man, we got to pay attention to what's going on, bro, because these dudes are messing up y'all mind, but they're tricking y'all, they're fooling y'all, they're misleading y'all. And sooner or later, it's going to cost y'all, bro, because these dudes are not your friends. You know, they're not your friends. Let me um change backgrounds right quick. <clears throat> About to wrap this up. Yeah, they're not your friends, you know. So him using the um, Dwayne Wade in that situation to try to say how black people don't deserve anything. Y'all got to catch those words, man. Why not just say people don't deserve awards for trash? Why is always black people? Why is always blamed on Obama? 
Dr. Umon Johnson, he could have picked anybody to blame all this stuff on, but he picked Obama as if feminism wasn't around before, as if gay people wasn't around before, as if none of this shit been going on before Obama. Come on, man. Obama did everything for everybody else, but you know what Obama also did? He got the United Nations to, to, to update their, um, their, 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 their constitution, so to speak, um, declaration, to update their declaration on indigenous people so that people have a right to define themselves and declare their own lineage. Guess who Obama did that for? Black Americans. See, when Obama said that he didn't think we should get reparation, that that need to be studied, he was trying to tell you dumbass niggas that y'all didn't come here from Africa. That y'all are actually indigenous Americans and y'all need to do more research and start claiming your own homeland instead of trying to claim somewhere else. That's what Obama's trying to do. That's what he was trying to do. So he went over to the United Nations and got the declaration updated so that you have a right to declare your own heritage. They can't just say what you are. You say what you are. But y'all ain't hear that part. Don, y'all ain't hear that part. Nah, y'all think that's for Indians, the so-called Native Americans. Everybody called them Native Americans already, huh? But they got what, what they got to claim. Amerindians. I mean, look at the spelling of the word. It's it's basically American Indians meld, you know, combined, right? It's a conjunction of American Indian, Amerindians. That's like the Mexican type people, little Pueblo type motherfuckers down in like Peru and shit, right? You know what I'm saying? I mean, we already calling them Indians. No, he did that for the people that are not properly recognized and that's why he didn't want to get into the whole reparations thing because he knows that y'all are not from africa bro but see y'all didn't see that part y'all want to blame the man for everything under the sun man but you know we got you got to understand he's one man he's an executive officer in a system a system he has very little power over the system as executive officer. We have 400 and what, 440, 450 people in Congress and y'all want to blame one person when it's a black man. Trump did no wrong, no, huh? No, all Trump did was nothing. You know, bunch of smoke screens. Yeah, he, he donated money to HBUs, you know what I'm saying, historical black colleges or universities because he know they corrupt. They don't do shit for us anyway. Isn't this the whole thing going on with Deion Sanders got fired from them college because the track and field thing was all chewed up, had no equipment, grass wasn't cut, but Trump donated all the money, but he invested the most money into him, but yet they, they didn't do shit for the school. Man, we corrupt, bro. All us corrupt, man. I don't trust you niggas no more than I trust them. Because none of y'all can be trusted. I'm just being real, bro. All y'all dudes try to talk black, this, black, that. Y'all don't mean nothing about black people. Anton, he's just a coon. He don't give two fucks about black people. He just can't bring his ugly, fat ass nowhere else. That's all his problem is. He just can't go nowhere else. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's stuck where he is. So his whole identity now is, is, is the money that he's making off of y'all. And while he sit there and call y'all stupid and savages and everything else, go on national TV and, and, and disrespect all black women. Y'all like this dude, though. Dr. Umar Johnson takes shots at liberals every chance he get. All of them, think about it. You never hear these pro-blacks talk about nobody else but the liberal side, but Obama. Obama been out of office eight damn years, man. He's still talking about the man. Still talk. He's still on all their tongues. Come on, man. Y'all know I'm telling the truth, bro. Wake up, my brothers. Wake up, my sisters. For anybody want to help the channel, man, right now, the best help you can do is share the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to receive notifications when I drop more videos. If you want to throw a brother five bucks, and it's greatly appreciated, you know what I'm saying? Hit me at Venmo at the Black Alpha. Hit me at Cash App at the Black Alpha. Hit me at PayPal at realblackalpha at gmail.com. You know, um... Patreon is coming. Patreon is Patreon at the Black Alpha. It is coming. I'm working on it, but I want to make sure I have the right type of content over there. There's going to be content that you just can't get on YouTube because it's going to be too raw, too, 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 ah. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be Kush. I'm gonna be that nigga, nigga, that nigga, nigga. You know what I'm saying? On, 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 on them Patreon videos. So um, be on the lookout for that. But again, Venmo at the Black Alpha, Cash App at the Black Alpha, PayPal at realblackalpha at gmail.com. Like the video, share the video, um, subscribe to the channel, and um, just help a brother out. You know what I'm saying? On that note, I'm out of here. I'm Brother Kush, aka the Black Alpha. Salam.